Hey, Christina. <clears throat> Man, I was going to leave a text message response to your video, but it said I have too many text comments. I recently posted too many. It says I recently posted several. Um, yeah, I think you are being paranoid. I think that we've been trained to be paranoid from birth. But I think if you communicate openly that people will listen to you. And that's the way it works. And, uh, you know, how, how can you break the social norm if, or how can you, how can you change the social norm? How can I change the social norm if I'm not willing to break the social norm? I don't know. It's the internet. It's something new. It's interesting. It's an experience. I, I don't want to hide. I don't want to hide anymore. Um, I think that uh, I, I've been really, really, really afraid of talking about weed or marijuana or anything like that online. And I don't talk about it much because it's, I don't know, it's, it's something in the physical reality. It doesn't, I don't talk about my cell phone much either. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really change anything. But yeah, it's a fear, which is why I don't talk about it openly a lot, because it's been ingrained into me to be afraid of it. But like, California law is pretty lax, which is nice. It's more progressive out here. I mean, honestly, I think that it's just a matter of time before things would he head back in that direction. I mean, the U.S. seems to be getting more progressive in general. People, with the age of information, people just seem to be getting more progressive in general. I mean, why? why do people... Why are people so hung up on telling other people how to live? Can you answer me that question? Because that's what I'm trying to get to the bottom of. Why is it such a popular thing, popular trend? I mean, we spend all our time in these videos saying, you, 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 you need to do this, you need to do this. You know, it's in the moments of clarity where I realize, oh, it's me that I'm, I have to worry about, not you. And even if I am worried about you, I'm just reflecting myself on, onto you. Projecting it onto you. People are way too concerned with what other people do. You just have to listen. I think the government has become kind of uh, the epicenter of paranoia in this country. It's all about keeping secrets. And it's about isolating from the population. You know, that now they are recording us whenever we do stuff and they're watching us. Like, what? This is ridiculous. That's got to change. It can't, it can't be that way. It's got, we have to be on friendly terms with the government. We, I mean, we are the government. The United States, the people of the United States have got to be on open, genuine, friendly terms with, with themselves. We didn't build this government so that we could be against it. I mean, that's why we left England in the first place, was so that we could have our own community. Our own, I guess, well, they left because they wanted their own Puritan community, and that's kind of what the government is. Is, uh, that's kind of what this country fucking country is, is a Puritan community. I mean, I think our human nature is starting to take over again, and we're getting away from that, but it's really obnoxious. That's what I think. I, uh, I think being positive about it is... I don't want to be afraid of it. You just don't hurt other people, you know. I got, I got, I got a moral code, I guess, and it's just don't, no fucking, no fucking physical violence. Other than that, let people be who they are. I'll see you later.